Climate change is a general concept, often paired with ideas such as rising temperatures and carbon emissions. Well, it turns out that climate change and rising sea levels are largely attributed to the Arctic, and more specifically, the ice. Since the 1970s, scientists have predicted an influx in Arctic warming, although their voices were largely drowned out by the public. In recent years, as the concept of climate change has been widely accepted by the scientific community, we are finding that global warming could be accelerated by its effect in the Antarctic. The reason for this is that when the ice sheets cover the poles, sunlight is reflected off the ice and diverted back into the atmosphere. As we begin to release carbon dioxide into the air, more sunlight stays in the atmosphere, heating up the oceans and melting the ice. The water exposed by the melting ice can now be heated up, accelerating the process further. To make things worse, a separate problem exists below the ice, where the ice shelf lies. A natural barrier of bedrock normally protects the ice shelves from warm currents, but as the sheets recede, the ice shelves quickly become unstable, further instigating the melting. All of these processes contribute to rising sea levels and more melting at an exponential level. Sea levels will rise about a meter by 2100, and many cost projections describe upwards of $14 trillion a year in costs near the end of the century. Such a cost would be devastating to the human race. Death tallies will reach about 250,000 a year between 2030 and 2050, and it would only get worse from there, causing millions of deaths and even human extinction. After President Trump pulled out of the Paris Climate Agreement, Stephen Hawking once said, We are close to the tipping point where global warming becomes irreversible. Trump's action could push the Earth over the brink, to become like Venus, with a temperature of 250 degrees and raining sulfuric acid. This is a problem of roughly the same magnitude as a meteor slowly hurtling towards Earth, and should warrant global emergency, rather than be a political topic. We can act to alleviate global warming by conserving energy in our homes and reducing our carbon footprint. This means turning off lights, turning down the thermostat, and using public transportation. More importantly, we need to elect leaders who are willing to act on climate change. Eventually, however, we will need a solution to our ever-worsening problem. This could include building underwater walls to protect the ice, or passing legislation cutting out carbon emissions. Scientists and activists alike are working hard at these solutions right now. The earth is warming, and the ice is melting, all due to human activity. We know this. Whether we choose to ignore it or save our species is our choice. In the end, the earth doesn't need us in order to thrive, and we may simply be a blip on the cosmic radar. We have an entire human future ahead of us and it's up to us to ensure it.